Hello everyone, welcome back. Angela here and it's so good to have you here at the start of the Easter weekend. So I'm going to wish you a very happy Easter. Um, I'm going to enjoy this lovely long weekend. Lots of peace and quiet and yeah, lots of time to craft. So I hope you're going to join me. Right, I've got quite a few things going on here. I don't want to spend too much time talking other than talking to you while I'm crafting. Um, and I've just got little Mitzi over here on my desk, a little wooden bunny, and she's just here to support us through the Easter. So I'm going to put Mitzi to the side there. Right, Mitzi. Okay, I've got my two signatures together here, and I'm going to whip through these really quickly. This is the first one. Um, this one has the image of the bunnies on the front like that. Um, I've turned that over. Um, so that's the first sheet. Then I've got a, the, you've seen me put the backs to backs on the pages. So I've shown you that in the, the last video. I'll put the link there for the um, Spring Has Sprung journal project. So you can see everything that we're doing. Then I've got one of those lace pages I mentioned, um, printed back to back. I've got one of those little floral images. This is from Floral ABC. Then this page is going to follow on from there. Um, that's got the pink green polka dot. Then we've got the, these bunnies. Those are the next ones. So that's smoky, misty and fluffy. And then I've got the, the lovely peach gingham in the middle. Then I've got an old book page. I need to trim this down, but I haven't got to that yet. The next page is going to be um, this particular one. That's going to follow on from there. Then I've got my Edith Holden page, uh, another lace page, um, and then this one with uh, the green and the bunny. That's got pink gingham, and then lastly this one here, which has this in the middle. All right, so um, that's that signature. Uh, the other one, I'll show you ever so quickly. Uh, we're starting off with, I need to find the middle. Uh, that page is first. So we've got the little bird at the bottom. We've got the peach polka dot. We've got the bunny with the peach ribbon. Love that one. Um, green gingham. Uh, floral ABC page. Um, I've got this page, which is then backed with pink gingham, a lace page. And I'm doing this pretty quickly. Um, and then this page with the, the letter. Um, it has the bunny in the teacup, which is Sophie. Hello, Sophie. Uh, we've got yellow gingham, another Edith Holden page. This page here with pink polka dot on the back, which then has the page with the bunnies in the wheelbarrow. And that has the green polka dot. And then you've got a lace page back in front. And in the middle, I've taken a really long page, which is the Victorian album, I think this is. Um, that's going in the middle. All right, so those are the signatures ever so quickly. So I'm sorry if you um, go through that, but you'll see as I go through it. I'm going to be working on the first signature now. So that's the one we're going to do today. We're going to put um, a nice little feature piece on the front over here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take that out the way. Um, so to get to it, sorry, I feel like I'm rushing today, but I'm, I don't like it to go too long over half an hour. Right, I'm going to be using an envelope today. So I'm doing a few envelope projects and I'm going to do another one for uh, Rachel and Bella's uh, collaboration on Sunday. So um, come and join me for that. Right, so this is an envelope. You can trim this down. Um, so have a look for anything that has a window. It doesn't have to have a window because you can make a window. So any envelope, six inches by nine inches. All right, so that's 15 centimeters by 23. All I've done is I've made a, taken a, a very a, a thin sliver off the side there and I've taken a, sli a thin sliver of the base there. All right, so there and there. So it's open on three sides, and I've just left the right-hand side uh, connected here. All right, so we have a long piece like that. Excuse all my inking, I just wanted to save on time. All right, so we've got a long piece like that. What I'm gonna do now is turn this around, and then, um, 
five inches, so 12 and a half centimeters, I have folded this like this, all right, and then where this meets up, the edge of this, I, which is another five inches, I have made a fold line there, and then whatever's left is going to be um, folded backwards. So let me just say that to you again, you've got your long piece, five and a half, five inches or 12 and a half centimeters fold, where that touches, fold, all right, and then where that meets over there, fold the other way. Okay, so you get we're going to have a pocket in there like that. All right, and then that will close up like that. So that's what we're doing today. So we're going to have a little cover going, um, covering it today with my Spring Has Sprung collection. And I'm so excited to get started on this. And I will say it's the perfect day because the skies are clear. And I'll tell you, spring has definitely sprung here where I am in the Midlands. And I've got um, the birds singing in the tree very loudly, fighting for food. They've got plenty. I feed them every day. Um, there's a pair of robins there and all the little blue tits and everything <laughs> in my big tree, which is sprouting shoots, which I'm very happy about. Now I know spring has arrived because the tree has its little, it's got beautiful mauve color leaves. Right, so let's get started. We're going to put some, um, cover some of these er areas up here. And I'm going to start off by covering the front page here like that. So I've just cut out a piece to fit that area there. And as you know, I take my pencil and I gauge the size of the window just by lifting this up and seeing where I want it. Now, sometimes you might want to make the window smaller and sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't want to use the whole area and I might want a smaller piece there. If you don't have a window, then just go and um, decide on something as simple as, and I always say this, Vanessa um, giggles when I should say this, but my Plum Petite card is a great one for making a window. You can just put it down on your envelope, draw around it, or any piece of paper for that matter. It doesn't have to be an envelope if you don't have an envelope. Copy of paper or normal paper would work just as well. All right, so put that down, draw around it and cut it out. That's what you do. Okay, so we're going to stick this one down. Let's do that. There's no um, stitching today, so don't worry about the back of this. It's just me using up my waist pieces. Um, so I'm going to just stick this down here. Now, I hope you guys are having um, a relaxing time this weekend. Whatever, if you've got plans or if you're just listening or crafting, whatever you're doing, I hope that it brings you joy and you have a lovely time this weekend um yeah i've got um a daughter with covid um and she was staying at friends when she uh found this out so yes that is awful so that's a bit tricky um for her and me <laughs> But yes, you know, I just got through my son having COVID, but I I don't want to say anything. Where's my Mitzi? I'll touch wood. Um, I'm avoiding it like the plague, literally. Right, so we've got that stuck on the front there. I'm going to come back to decorating that in a little bit. But what I have done is I'm actually going to put something in that little window. So... Um, this is the piece that's going to go on the back here. So this is the peachy color. And I'm going to, I think this is the piece. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe it's not. I think that one actually goes there. So let's do that. We'll go through the layers as I have them, um, you know, gathered here on the side. So this is the peach gingham. There's so many pieces here. I've got to get my wits about me. Keep my wits about me, I should say. So, yeah, we're going to get this one stuck down as well, like that. Now, I did ink up all the edges just because I didn't want pieces of the um, uh, envelope blue bits to the underneath sort of print to stick out. So, um, you know, I have done that up front before I stick any of these bits down. Now, this bit... Must have got it the wrong way because it's the only one I have seen so far that I haven't inked. 
right so that's going to go there and on top of that i didn't really need to put it all the way down but i wasn't sure at the time what i was going to do here now on that bit i'm going to stick down a little flap all right so i've used the pink gingham here and i'm going to stick that down over here so that we've got a, a little pocket in here so let's get that down so let's get that down we'll get that on the corner there and then up on the corner over there as well okay we'll get to all the decorating in a mo right so it's the yellow uh, gingham that i'm going to put on the back here now I've got something to stick underneath it, so I'm just making sure I've got my sizing right there. Now what I did was, one of the full sheets of paper, I had these three bunnies in front of the little fence. I wanted that to stick through on my window, so I've just cut it off there. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some glue on this. So just around the edges like that okay right so i've got that there open that all up um and then lots of paper bits here and then i just want to position this where i want it so i think that's exactly where i want it and that's just going to give me the spot so i just absolutely adore those little three critters there all right smoky misty and fluffy can't resist them right so we've got them stuck in the window and now we can stick down this piece here so i think that's the way i wanted it gosh this does look messy i was having a hard time with the <laughs> um <laughs> with the inker at the time and yeah, it was late. It was really, oh, I should say really early this morning I was doing that. So yeah, gosh, I do go to bed really late. But you know, you just get sucked into this whole creative thing. I don't know if you guys are like that as well. But yeah, I do get sucked in and I just don't know when to stop. I am terrible. I'm going to just change my glue to my fabric tuck because I'm struggling with that one today. It's the last... Um, the last part of the year where we can get hold of the Cadbury's mini eggs which I love I don't know if you've got any Easter favorite chocolates I'm terrible with chocolates I am really terrible and not very good because I'm actually diabetic <laughs> I say that yeah I'm very bad at being a diabetic but you know Easter you've just got to have mini eggs well I do and Yes, I am terrible for eating those. I just want you to trim off a little bit of overhang here, quickly. Right, coming along. Okay, so we've got that bit stuck down. That's great. Um, and we'll get a little bit in the middle here as well. Okay, so I've got this bit that's going to go in the middle. So the colours in this kit are just, I love them. I do love them. Can't go wrong with the colours. So pretty. So spring and uplifting and, you know, they just make me smile. So, yeah, I do love them. I hope you guys do too. Right, so let's get this one stuck down as well. Just be very mindful, as I always like to point out, of where the fold lines are so you don't want to get those into the fold lines um, just because you know it inhibits and then results in your um, project not lying flat properly so just be mindful of that I've got some kind of a thing it's just like a piece of paper but I think that's fine right and then the last bit at the back here is going to be a little green piece so I've got this green polka dot piece and I'm going to put that down over there. So yeah, couldn't resist a, a good envelope project to start off this. And we could have always like a nice little feature piece on the very first page. So this is it. Right, so we'll get this one done and then we're all good to go. So let's just match up the corners there nicely. Um... 
There we go. All done. Right. Okay. So I think that's everything as far as the base pages are concerned. And it's all lying together nicely. So we can just press that down like that. And there we go. All right, so we're going to start at the back here. Um, and we can start by sticking down our pocket. Uh, you can do that with glue or with tape. I'm going to just be using the glue. I like tape, but, you know, not so great when you're faffing with it on, on camera. So we're going with the glue. Right, so we've got a little pocket there. Um, and then I just wanted to add some bits and pieces onto that. So I've got just a strip of that green paper, the polka dot. I wanted to just put that um, sort of centralized down there. So I've just inked the sides. Um, so it looks like a bit of a stripe. All it is is like a central stripe we're putting down here. And I'm trying to keep this one as flat as possible, believe it or not. So... <laughs> I'm not always so good at that, am I? But yeah, that's what we're having. We're having a central lane going on here. And then remember I told you about the backing pages, that one with all the, the butterflies and flowers. I've cut out some of those, and I'm going to use those here now to decorate. So we're going to stick those down here. I think I'm going to have one going that way and one going that way with the flowers. So let's start with the, the actual middle one first and stick that down. And how easy is that to decorate? And I do love all these little elements in this kit as well. So can't go wrong with a butterfly. So we'll get the butterfly down and looks about there. Here we go. And then we're going to do the same with this. So hopefully my uh, art litter glue has decided to sort itself out. Not really, it seems. Not really. All right, let's see. We're going to have this bit going this way. Okay, let's hope that I've managed to. Right, I was going to have this one like that and that one like that. Yes, so that's better. Managed to sort out the glue, I think. Sometimes it gets little fibers, you know, gluey, gunky bits stuck in it for some reason. I don't know what that is about, but it does. Right, so we want to just gauge the gap there is about the same. And we're going to stick that down. So that's just the decorations for that little pocket. Really quick and easy. All right, let's go back to this one over here. What I've done over here is I have taken my Templates 2 Mini Pocket. Um, really easy. You put it on your piece of paper, you draw around it, you cut it out and you're left with that. And then you just fold on those lines. It is written on the actual template, but I didn't do it on mine. You just scored on those three sides, fold it up like that and then glue this bit over here. So let's start with a bit of glue just over here. Yeah, I've given up on the art glitter glue today. No more. So we're gonna have um, that. And then we're going to just put some glue on the flap like that. All right. I'm going to put that down just over there, sort of just to the side. So I'm going to stick that down. So we're going to do that on the back. And it's easy to do this and get these things straight when you're using lines. So that's great and handy. Okay, so we've got that all sorted. All right, so that's what I'm... Of course, you don't have to use my templates. You can create your own or you know but I do like to use templates I do find it very much easier right I have got some little bits I want to put on there so I'm going to do that quickly um, and it's just three of these little die cuts 
and you know that I'm a fan of die cuts and as I showed you um, I'm going with the pinks the yellows and the greens so I'm going to stick down this is from those delicate leaves so I'm just going to get this down quickly Okay, so we've got our little pocket decorated up there and then I'm just going to take one of my pastel butterflies and I'm going to just stick him down as well. He hasn't got a name. Not today. I'll have to think about those. Can you imagine me with all my butterflies? Right, so we've got our little pocket over there. I'm <laughs> full of glue. That's all right. Okay. Now, I'm not going to put a pearl on because I want to keep it as flat as possible. So we've got our little pocket over there. We've got this little pocket over here. We are going to now um, open this up and we're going to put a couple of other little goodies here. So on this side, it's really pretty simple. I've taken a piece of paper. I have, um, so it'll be your five inches. And this one is, let me think one two three and a half inches and i folded it in half and that's what i just do to give it strength as you know and then um i just like to glue this together you don't have to do it double you know it's just my preferred choice um and then i just stick it together like that right now i think one of these sides i have actually inked it's that one okay and then I'm going to just stick that down over here. So again, um, we're going to just put some glue there. Like that. And stick that down over here. Again, don't put it too close to the edge. You don't want it to inhibit the folding of your little hinges here. All right, so hopefully that that's going to still lay flat like that. Right, um, then I have got uh, a little butterfly cut out from that sheet and a little piece of lace, lovely um, cotton lace. Um, and the, the lace is from Plum Boutique, as you guys know. I think Vanessa's shop opens again. I see she's closed it, um, but uh, it's just for the holidays. I think she's catching up. Um, but I know that these ribbons and lace um, lace pieces should kits packs I should say I see on her announcements that it says they'll be ready when she opens up on the 28th if you were wondering all right so I'm going to try and get this straight but luckily we've got the little gingham lines here to do so right and then I just want to trim that bit off there like that and yeah let's just push that down and then i'm going to just take my little butterfly and i've <laughs> got bits and all sorts hanging on right so i have i've left his little feelers on right so we're going to just put some glue on that and we're going to just stick that in the middle so nice and simple decoration there okay right and then we've got just our little bit in the middle so what i did there was i've cut two pieces um the green strip is as two inches wide and the the peach strip is one and a half inches wide so you're looking at five centimeters or um i think this one's four is it yes four okay and then as long as as this is which i think is six inches all right so what we want to do is we're just making a bit of a belly band here really easy okay so i'm just going to take this one round glue and get some of that down like that and we're going to get that stuck onto the green one so i don't want to do it on there Right, so just gauge the center of the green one. And this is also just gives it strength, it gives it some decoration as well. Okay, yeah. Now you can go and stitch down the uh, lines there, but I said no stitching today. 
<laughs> all right so what i'm going to do now is i've got one of the little circles that come in the add-on kit and um, i've just cut a circle out in the green gingham uh, you don't have to there I've got two sizes of circles in that kit and I'm going to stick those on there quickly so I'm just going to get that down and centralize this one if you've got punches that would work well otherwise just hand cut them with circles you know you can use all sorts of things around the house for different size circles Right, I'm just going to try and establish the center of this, which is one, two, it's over here. So I'm going to get that stuck over there like that. And I'm going to just get that stuck down. To that a little bit higher, actually. This is the Joy Fabric Tack. You can just move it ever so slightly off center. Um, and then I'm going to just stick this down on there. All right. So I'm going to do that quickly. Okay. So you can see that I've just stuck that down there. And now what I'm going to do is I've just got some of the little flowers. You can cut these from punches. I've used my spring foliage uh, die. Um, and I've just got a little peach one here and a little pink one. You know, I've just sorted this out. It's playing up today. It's time to clean the, the nozzle, I think. Right, so just want to put a little bit of that on there. Just got lots of flowers on this today because, you know, that's what spring's about. All the new f beginnings for flowers and little animals and garden looking great. And I think I will be spending time in my garden in the coming days just to you know catch up with everything that um you like to do over the springtime it's lovely to sit in the garden and just enjoy some great time there right so i'm going to put this down over here and over here mm -hmm. and again you can use your um just find the central spot here and put that over like that. Okay, dokes. So we've got our little belly band and we've got all those bits there. I'm happy with all of that. <clears throat> we've decorated that bit and now all I want to do is decorate the front bit. So I'm just making sure I've got this nice and flat as I can. And we will then decorate this little bit. So I'm going to start off here by doing, um, using my crochet, it's a crochet die, this Tim Holtz crochet die. And I want to just put, um, this is a peach colour one. Um, really love this. I'm going to just cut this off over here actually. Like that. It's not quite the right length, but that's fine. Then I've got a, a yellow one, and I'm going to put that on the top because I quite like the look of that. Oh, somebody told me, one of my lovely ladies told me to do this with uh, the crochet die, so we're going to try it. I think that's just a lot easier, and I have tried it before, and I, I, I do think this is the way to go. So, as I said, this isn't quite the right length, but that's fine. I'm going to put that up there and look how nicely that works and then let's what's the length of this one this one I'll, I'll make the right length so we do need to trim off a little bit there and that's the spot so we'll do that and then while this is still on my hand thank you for the lady who told me about this and for the life of me I can't remember now I am terrible but I've had a few people mention this to me before. But, you know, you never remember half the time when you, you're filming things. Um, and then afterwards I think, oh gosh, yes, I was given that great tip. Why didn't I remember? Okay, so we've got that done and that worked really well. So much better and quicker and easier than doing it by hand. Right, so what I wanted to do is, and because this is the first page, I'm going to use the sentiment 
um, this one here, Hello Spring, and I've cut it a bit skew, <laughs> ever so slightly, but it'll bug me. Um, and because it's the first page, as I said, these are part of the ephemera pack, the sentiments, and I'm going to put it on right over there. That's better. Okay, right, so let's stick that down just over there. This is working better now. I did manage to take out a gloopy piece in the in the nib, and now it's sort of got itself right. Okay, so we want to get this sort of centralized like that. All right, um, and then while I'm at it, I've got a little butterfly here. I'm going to just put on some glue there and just going to stick that down just over there. I think the top bit that's perfect now i know she's not finished there's still more to come <laughs> so if you're wondering right i've got a couple more of the die cuts so i want to just um where's my little oh i think i've taken it up no that's the wrong thing now oh, just use what you have angela my little roller is on the other side of the room there, but yeah. Okay, so I've got one of the little yellow lavender sprigs, so we'll just stick that down quickly. And I am going to be using a lot of flowers in this journal because that's what it's about, isn't it? It's, it's beautiful. It's, that's just my favorite season, as I keep saying. Right, I'm going to just get this leaning over a little bit I think this way so let's just get this like this and that's okay that's over the edge there we're gonna just chop that off there then I've got this beautiful pink one and I'm gonna have that sort of leaning over like that so let's just chop it off there so I know where to put it and then we can get that one stuck down I'm gonna have a fine job fine time peeling that off I don't know what it is but I love peeling glue off my fingers and afterwards it's I, I don't know I find it quite relaxing quite therapeutic really so um that is weird I don't know I know right so we'll get this one stuck over there gosh just love pastels absolute favorite um and then what I wanted to do as well was got the spring foliage dye which I absolutely adore and I'm going to get this sort of love the way it's angled and i'm going to get that stuck down over there so let's try this again with uh with the, this this sort of die and see how we get on with that so instead of me going through all the little leaves i'm going to try it like this and see how i go if that's not a better way as well okay so we want to get that like this yeah, and this is working well and it's time saving and it's coated everything beautifully so this might have to be the way to go with this one and I love using this one okay and then again a um, couple of little flowers uh, yellow and peach I'm going to just stick a few on here this is probably overkill but you know gotta love it gotta love it so we're gonna put that one over there and we're going to put this one on top of it. So we're making our own flowers up here, own blossoms. And then I'm going to do the same, but in reverse. So we'll do the little peach one first. Um, now I will say, uh, Sizzix um, must have been having a laugh when they put this, to, uh, this particular little dark together the set because they give you one of these little dies to cut the flowers one i don't know if that's a ploy to make us buy more because that's exactly what i ended up doing because i do love using them um because you get one and that's just crazy right so yeah i'm gonna put some little Now, I have got these three bits here. This is one of my little paper flowers. I've sewn one of the buttons on. I wanted to put that on that corner there, sort of 
balancing it off and then i've got this is from plum boutique and this one is a pink one it's from hobby craft <laughs> oh, i didn't have a pink pink one from plum boutique or, or i think i did but it looked a bit lilac-y so i wasn't um i wasn't sold on that one so uh, i'm just going to use these two let's get the main one stuck down here so you definitely can see that it's about a, a floral explosion going on so we'll get this one down here these are the same little flowers i used to make those little um butterflies that you saw me do and you know they've been lying in my stash for a very long time and i just decided right got to do something with them so yeah um, and there we've got a little corner and i do love threes okay so there's the front i've got that all sorted i'm, I'm really happy with how way that's come together okay so we're going to now put in the bits and pieces uh, and that will be almost done then right so in this little pocket that we had here i've got uh, a little tag i've taken from the add-on kit so um that one's going to just slide into that pocket uh just over here <laughs> what now oh there's always there's always something isn't there all right so we'll get that in there with a little ribbon then on this little pocket here i've got these two pieces love that so a little bit gonna go in there and then this gorgeous image that's gonna go in on the side over there so we can put them a little straighter i think right and then um this little pocket over here i've got these two pieces so i've got a little card i put that that side and then another little postcard so we've got those two bits in there and then uh, the little belly band here i'm just putting in the little envelope which is just one of my little mini envelopes um from my kit so you could even put the bigger one in, I suppose. I actually didn't try and size that. So there we've got a little trifold going on there, just from a little envelope folded a little different way. I'm going to close that up like that, and that is our completed project. Let's just put a little bit of um, glue on that petal just to keep it a little bit flatter. All right, so we've got that there. Now we want to take our page um so this is the first page and we're going to stick that down over here so that's going to look absolutely stunning now i'm going to put a large tag in so i've taken this gorgeous one i love that um with the butterflies and this beautiful green ribbon and i want to stick that behind just so that the butterfly sticks out so i want to keep it um fairly low so i just want to make sure yeah I can put it like that right and you know my little trick I'm going to draw a line here with my pencil just so that I know where I need to place it so I'm going to just turn that upside down um, and I haven't covered the underside of course you could cover the back here and send this off to someone as a happy mail or a gift it would make beautiful gift in the post nice and flat and not too expensive to post either so you know go and turn all those mailers and this is a mailer uh, as you can see go and turn it into something special <laughs> right i don't i want to keep it close to the this side rather than the spine side and i'm going to just open that up and press it down nicely so hopefully it hasn't moved right i got glue here now so i don't want to right so that's that's it for this one so once we've we've given that time to dry how cute is that look it's just sophie's peeking her face out there <laughs> and we're going to fold that all together and then that's going to just fit in there like that and then we've got the butterfly and also this little ribbon sticking its face out too all right and that's the first little project for our uh, journal now just this didn't quite get all the bits i think i sort of ran out of glue here close to the end so that's fine i'm just going to stick this down um again 
like that okay right so i hope you've enjoyed that everybody i love how this has come together um really perfect to celebrate the beautiful day we're having today and the start of this journal and welcoming welcoming in spring um now i know that half the world's experiencing autumn um so i'm sorry about that but it doesn't matter which theme you use for this this would work with any theme all right everyone look out for me on sunday I, I will be taking part. It's my um, contribution to Rach and Bella's um, collaboration for April called How To Botanical. So look out. I will have a little project for you there. Um, and please, I hope you enjoy following along. All the lists of things are on um, my Facebook group or any of the con, um, collaborators. So go and have a look and follow along. It's some beautiful projects from all sorts of people. But I'll give you more about that when I speak to you on Sunday. Um, I also have my sale running and the sale ends at the end of Easter Monday. All right, so the 18th. So go and have a look if you're wanting to um, grab anything there. I've got printed kits, digital kits, um, all sorts of things and on sale. So go and have a look if you are keen. All right. Thank you guys so much for your support and encouragement. I look forward to seeing you just in two days. So have fun. Stay safe. Um, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye.